Hi Pisces, welcome to Pisces Tarot and Advice and welcome to your daily reading. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're just going to jump in here, see what we get, okay, for today. And take the messages as they resonate with you, if you feel that they do. Okay, keep an open mind about timing. Um, and you're going to have to practice using your own intuition to put the messages where they go, flip rolls if you have to, etc. Alright, so let's see, for Pisces placements. What do they need to know at the time they find this video for their highest good? Okay, here we go. And thank you all for your patience and your support, especially through the technical glitches that we're experiencing now in Mercury Retrograde Shadow. Okay. Okay. And thank you for liking my videos and commenting on them, sharing your feedback and your stories and your confirmation with me. It means a lot. It really does. Thank you for subscribing. Helps the channel grow. Makes a big difference. And of course, thank you to my members for your extra support. Okay. All that being said, Pisces, let's just get going before we start having issues. <laughs> okay. Bottom of the deck. Nice. Ace of Pentacles. A new opportunity, a new uh, source of income, something you have the opportunity to invest in that will uh, bring you great results, something solid with uh, potential to be very stable, prosperous for you in the long run. It could be a new job opportunity, it could be a gift, a gift of money or a gift of some kind or a ring for some. Um, it could be... Uh, money coming in, right, if it's a loan, if it's a mortgage, if it's a gift, if it's inheritance, if it's a promotion and a bonus, um, that sort of, that sort of thing. So let's see. In the current situation, we have the tower with the hermit. So the tower is very shaky, shaky ground, okay? Uh, something is falling apart or something has already fallen. Um, and with the Hermit, okay, we have Virgo energy here. This is, it's like, it's in line with the planetary transits um, with whatever Uranus is doing and what Saturn is doing and Pluto, right, with the Tower. Um, but it's the end of the old ways. It's the end of something that was built on shaky ground. It no longer applies. It needs to be tore down so that something better can be built in its place. Um, and with the Hermit, there's a lesson that comes from this where we're trying to figure out why something fell apart or we're trying to figure out if we can do anything to keep something going, if we can do anything to repair or restore, um, or, you know, what the best approach for us is at this point in time. Now with the Tower and the Ace of Pentacles, it can be something sudden coming in, something unexpected, sudden. Um, that just throws off your plans for the day, throws off your routine for the day. But with the Hermit, it's like I have to drop everything else and really look at this because it's a really good opportunity, okay? It's something you can't ignore. It, it's something you can't miss, okay? And if this is something that has already happened and you have been searching and applying, and putting your, yourself out there, whatever the situation is, there is something new coming in for you that is going to be much more stable for you, potentially helping you understand why this had to happen in the first place, okay? Because if this hadn't happened, you wouldn't be getting this, okay? And the challenge, here we go. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So I do feel like there's something unexpected happening today. I don't know what Uranus is doing. But there is something unexpected to where you have to drop what you're doing. You have to drop anything else and everything else to really look at this, to really entertain this, to, to be present in a conversation, to really assess what is being said, to assess what is being offered or presented. Or it's an unexpected opportunity for you to go for something, for you to apply, for you to submit something. And it's almost like, you may feel like you're not ready because this comes in out of the blue, but that's the whole point, right? That's the whole challenge. You have to drop everything else and really focus on this 
fill out the forms, fill out the paperwork, write the thing. Because it's, it's whatever this pause and unexpected development is, it was meant to open a door for you that otherwise might not be opening. Okay. Interesting. All right. On the mind. Eight of Cups and the Emperor. I really, okay, you're going to be dealing with someone or something, okay, that's got very, it's almost like stubborn energy of you're going to pay attention, Pisces. Uh, because with the Eight of Cups, this can even be something where you're just not in the mood. You don't want to deal with anything or you just want to go ahead and carry on, do your routine, do what you usually do, stick to your tasks and whatever. But with the Emperor, the Emperor's like, walking in your path saying you can't do this Pisces you can't go anywhere you got to pay attention to me it could be a person as well they just won't be ignored <laughs> right they want your um undivided attention but they are trying to talk to you about some sort of opportunity right Okay, and the foundation, we have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So, in the foundation, the reason for everything here, this is an energy of community, of friends, family, co-workers. Um, it's a light heart energy, it's very social energy. But with the Seven of Cups, it's an energy of options, possibilities, what ifs. So it could be that at some sort of gathering or at some sort of party or at some sort of dinner, you just casually mentioned some things. And unbeknownst to you, one of the people you were talking to went and told someone else about it. Hey, Pisces has this amazing idea, right? And now that person wants to talk to you. And it's one of them where to you it was a case of, yeah, it'd be nice if, or maybe at some point in the future, or maybe one day I'll do this, or one day I'll do that. And I feel like someone in your environment, someone you're close to, someone you get along with, um, a friend, a supporter, a fan of some sort, they went and talked to the emperor on your behalf. Or maybe they are the emperor themselves, and you just didn't know that about them. You didn't know they had that kind of resource. You didn't know they had that kind of reach, right? And now this person's saying, Pisces, I want to hear you out. Tell me about your plan. And you're saying, I don't really want to be doing that because my plan is nowhere near ready to be talked about. Right? I'm dealing with a lot of stuff right now. I can't be dealing with this. I got to figure this out. I got to do this and that and the other. But in the challenge, <laughs> right, this is saying, no, talk about as far as you got with the Page of Pentacles is not the full picture. The Page of Pentacles is not the complete project, the complete plan. It's the idea with a little bit of detail around it, okay? Um, and whoever this individual is, person or representative of whatever institution, they're saying, tell me whatever it is you've got. Show me what you've got, okay? However far you've taken it. I want to understand it. I want to hear about it. Or this is saying, I got you an interview. It's today. And you're going, well, what the hell? I can't be dealing with that. I got all of this to figure out. You know, something happened here unexpected. And you've got to fix it, figure it out. Or the fact that this is coming in is throwing everything else out of whack. And you're going, I can't do that. I don't have time for that today. You should have said, you should have asked, you should have this and that and the other. I never asked you to do this, right? It just shakes you up. But in the challenge, it's an amazing opportunity. So let's see. In the recent past, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. This can be something that you've tried to do for yourself or by yourself and have been getting mixed results, have been getting declined, rejected, not getting any results. And you might have attempted this several times and you're a little bit jaded about it currently. Okay, four of cups, eight of cups, you know, like I don't really, I don't want to get my hopes up again. I'm not ready to do that, like not mentally prepared or emotionally prepared to get my hopes up again. And to put forward this plan, this presentation, to go sit this interview. I'm not feeling confident. 
because the hermit can be an energy of overthinking and being hyper focused on details. Eight of Pentacles is a similar energy, being a perfectionist. So Pisces, I know you can be perfectionists, contrary to what people believe. Um, especially if you have Virgo in your chart anyway, all right? But this is telling you that whatever you have currently, whatever level it's at, whatever, whatever, yeah, it's good enough to be talked about. It's good enough for you to apply. It's good enough for you to submit to get going, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to do it. You just have to get your foot in the door. So let's see and the outcome here. Look, we have the Ace of Cups, and it's the same Ace of Cups that's in the Four of Cups. A helping hand being offered to you. Something unexpected, something you don't foresee, something you weren't necessarily looking for, right? Six of Swords for you to finally move on and move forward and make progress. And the Three of Pentacles. Joining a new team, a new organization, a new corporation. Uh, coming together with another, uh, uniting or uh, putting resources together, teaming up, joining forces, moving, this could be moving, moving in, this could be new job, new team, new working environment, um, this could be relocation, absolutely, this could be stepping into a business relationship with someone you know, or a business relationship where there's a familiar element to it, right? There's, there was a networking situation. So if it's not with your friend, it's your friend of a friend of a friend, right? There's a link somewhere. Or a family member, because they're going Pisces, could be some sort of father figure, right? Mother figure, matriarch, patriarch. Um, and they're going Pisces, tell me about that. And, I feel like there's an intimidation factor here, okay, to be honest with you, because it's a case of I can't go in front of this person and talk to them about what I have because it's not good enough yet. I need to perfect it. I need to make it better. I need to make it more aesthetically pleasing. I need to work on the format of it. I need to work on the fonts. I need to work on the background of this presentation. I need to really look at all the details of my resume before I submit it anywhere. You're like, it has to be perfect because you kept trying, okay? And whatever you tried in the past, it didn't work out. So that has put you in this mindset of, I have to make it better. I have to make it better. I have to make it perfect. And with this energy, this is saying, just go for it with what you have because it's enough to get you going, okay? Two of Pentacles under the Ace of Pentacles, the devil. Don't let self-doubt and being overly critical of yourself hold you back, okay? Don't worry about other people's <laughs> expectations so much because I promise you, no one is as critical of you and your work as you are towards yourself. You're your biggest critic at this point in time. Trust me, your own standards and expectations for yourself are higher than anyone else's towards you. Okay, Knight of Swords, Six of Wands. It's time to just go for it. There's a, there's a blessing. There's a, a helping hand. There's a door being opened for you. Where what you have is enough. Where you are is enough to, to get going. It's enough to apply. It's enough to take the lead and take the leap, right? You'll be victorious. You'll have recognition. If you don't let self-doubt hold you back, if you don't let... Um, overthinking and being overly critical of yourself and what your product is, what your, and your product could be your resume, it could be an actual product, it could be an idea for a product, a service, an invention, um, a business plan, an idea for how you can improve something, okay? Don't let you being over, overly critical of that and you being a perfectionist hold you back or make you turn away from this opportunity, okay? Don't be intimidated. I promise you, you'll impress this emperor, whoever this is. If it's a manager, if it's a judge, if it's a recruiter, if it's an interviewer, if it's 
a bank person, if it's a government representative, someone who has the authority to approve something for you or to represent you or to put you forward for things, to vouch for you. You have three aces in your reading. Okay, now is the time. Now is the time. So be quick on your feet and seize the opportunity is the message. Don't be, this isn't the time to be the perfectionist. This is, this is the time when being a perfectionist is going to hold you back and cost you opportunities. This is a time for you to be the Pisces that you are and adapt and go with it and do the best you can with what you have because I promise you it will be good enough. Okay? So let's see what oracles we have for you today. Pisces. We have flow. <laughs> and did you see how he just flew out of my deck? Exactly what I just said. Just go with it. It's an energy of flow. Adapt, adjust, and keep going. Take the opportunity when and how it presents itself. Because it will be something that's meant to happen, but it's not something you will have made happen for yourself. Okay? It's, it's some sort of cosmic intervention. It's some sort of helping hand, a benefactor, an angel investor, someone who's trying to help you, someone who's genuinely working in your highest good and interest. And it's almost like they're helping you skip the waiting line. They're helping you speed something up. They're helping you take a shortcut. They're putting you in front of the person that you've been trying to get in front of, right? And you've been trying every, like the, the traditional channels with the Hierophant. You've been trying the traditional channels. Your application's in progress, but it's slow, right? And this is someone who has the ability to put you in front of the person that your application is ultimately supposed to get in front of, eventually, yeah? They're putting you in front of that person today. And they're going, Pisces, tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you want. Tell me what, what your application's about. This isn't the time to go, but wait a minute, that's not, <laughs> you know... I'm not ready today, you know? You're always ready, Pisces. Trust yourself. This could be something that you've applied for, thinking that's never going to happen in a million years. So you did it as a joke, you did it as a dare. You just put it out there because you thought it was funny or whatever, you know? And this is a very <laughs> serious person with a lot of power and authority going, Tell me more about it. And you're going, oh, what? Wait, no, why, what? I'm not prepared. I don't have a plan. I don't have, you know, I haven't written anything down. I'm not, you know. Don't do that, Pisces. Don't do that. So let's see. What else for Pisces when it comes to this? Bottom of the deck, we have duality. So this is like the two of swords being in two minds about it. So you're going to go on the one hand, you might think, oh my God, this is great. This is awesome. Emotionally. Yeah. And mentally, when you start thinking about it, you're going, but I don't have this. I don't have that. This, this isn't good enough. That isn't good enough. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So don't, don't do that to yourself, Pisces. We have queen, and this is all about confidence, believing in yourself, your ability to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. And it's also an energy of receiving. Let people help you. Let people intervene for you. Allow opportunity. Beginnings. With three, three aces, I'd say. Absolutely. This is some sort of new beginning that's trying to happen for you. And what you have to do is allow it. Just go with it. And Princess of the Borderland. And this is all about looking outside of your comfort zone, stepping outside of your comfort zone, allowing for transformation, breaking free of limitation. Don't put 
such high standards on yourself and such intense scrutiny and criticism on yourself. Don't, you know, limit yourself with this energy. Flow, go with it, see where it takes you. Drop those boundaries. Stop telling yourself what you can and can't do. And if someone is telling you, Pisces, this is good enough for me to work with, don't contradict them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if someone's saying, Pisces, this is enough for me to work with, enough for me to know that I want to offer you this, don't go, oh, no, it's horrible. That's horrible. I could absolutely do better if I had more time. If I had, Don't do that, Pisces. Just go, thank you. Thank you, right? All right, Pisces. So you keep me posted. Let me know what this is. When it happens, I feel like you don't know what it is. You don't see it coming. Hence, the tower is your first card. Something's just going to unexpectedly, suddenly come in, right? Um, whether it's a phone call or an email or someone just turning up and telling you, Hey, Pisces, I got you an interview with that person. It's today at 5 o'clock. And you're going, what? Wait a minute. I don't know. I don't have anything to wear. I don't have this. I don't have that. My resume is a mess. And they're like, no, 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 I, I, get a, I gave him the one you gave me. And you're going, oh, my God, I didn't even review that. I could do a better job with it. But don't, just know, take a deep breath and go, awesome. Okay, get excited. Get excited. And just go and do the best you can with what you have because it will be good enough. Trust me. Okay? Now is not the time to be the perfectionist. So Pisces, that's what I have for you today. No glitches, thank God. Um, I hope this helps you. I'm looking forward to your thoughts and your comments. I really, really hope this helps you, okay? Because this is something amazing that's trying to just be given to you, basically, right? You do have to do something. You do have to allow it, if nothing else, or you have to go for it, seize the opportunity, or apply, or have the conversation, entertain the conversation, whatever it is. Don't be the perfectionist today. Be in the flow. Embrace. Go with it. Do the best you can with what you have because it will be more than good enough. Okay? So I'm going to leave that there. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.